Where are we going? Another castle. Well, you've just seen the road we went on. How do you, how do you feel, Lydia? <laughs> oh my God! That okay? <laughs> if you're coming to Harlot Castle and you're driving anything bigger than a postage stamp, buckle up. That was the 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 most exciting and the most terrifying. Whoops, we missed a turn. We've ever had. Ah, <sighs> but we found it. We're here. Um, if you're following the GPS to Harlot Castle, I don't know where it's taking you, but it is not this parking lot. I don't even know if this is the right parking lot, but we can pay to park here and that's what we're doing. We're just, we're done driving. I'm, I'm, we're done driving. I'm pretty sure this is the right parking I mean, lot for the castle, considering, you know, the castle. It's right there. Right, right here. We've just gone in to the visitor center, um, and before we go into the castle, I just wanted to let you guys know that we uh, got a year membership to Cadu. Cadu? Cadu? I asked how to pronounce it. That's my best guess. Um, it means keep, essentially, and that's the membership to the Cadu uh, historical sites. Um, we're seeing three castles already on our list that belong to this historical association seeing those three pays for this membership and then I think we're seeing like another five or six locations that are also part of this historical membership so a little bit of advice if you're going somewhere and you want to see a lot of historical places look what organization they're part of and usually a membership will save you a lot a lot a lot of money um so we just bought ours and we're about to head in. It looks very blustery and windy out there, so we may not do a lot of talking updates just because you won't be able to hear a thing. Also, the ocean right on the other side of this castle. Beautiful. Just again, in reference to this, we did the same thing with Historical Scotland when we went to Scotland for six weeks, and it saved us about $400 in admission prices. Usually you also get a 10% discount in the gift shops or cafes, which is kind of nice if you plan on having lunch out at one of the places that you're going to see. So if you're going to a bunch of historical places, check it out. Also, with your first year membership for Cadu, you get into uh, Historic Scotland and English Heritage Sites for free as well, I do believe he said. So check into which ones give you the best deals, sign up. They help keep these places open and functioning and taken care of. It's really, really worth it and it'll save you a lot of money. Welcome to Harlech Castle. Harlech Castle was one of four castles that Edward I built to try to control Wales. 
it with it had five sieges, fell to four, and withstood one. Also, we're gonna see the other three castles that Edward built. down to the water gate before we go up to the top of the towers. The water gate is where supplies would have been brought in by sea, which is how one of the sieges was withheld.
If we're correct, the gate behind me is where the water gate ended. In all of the illustrations, it shows that the water gate ends with a dock and a boat, and that was actually the water. Today, the water is just on the other side of those dunes over there. We were right back when Harlot Castle was built in 1246, 1246, 1294, <laughs> when Harlot Castle was built, the water did come right up to the base of the cliff. They docked right outside this gate. And I believe it was Edward I when he was, the castle was getting sieged then, he was getting supplies in from Ireland. Everybody on the other side of the castle thought they were winning but all the supplies were just coming in the back. Also during the siege, Edward I wasn't here, but it was under English rule. And now that we've learned all of that information, back up we go. every tower, walked every step that Harlick Castle has to offer. We are now headed to Porthor, Port Or, Port Air. It is a beach called Whistling Sands. Um, I don't know if we'll have the right conditions to get the whistling sound of the sand, but we're gonna go check it out. It's supposed to be beautiful. First, I think we're gonna head up the gift shop and maybe we grab some lunch, try to get warm, feel our fingers again. That's what we accidentally drove down earlier. They have a sign for it. We popped into a little cafe that is literally just across the street from the castle and like through a little alleyway. The guy at the counter is super nice. He's been to Texas. We chatted about the weather. <laughs> Shortly, we should have a sandwich and a pizza and some beverages. I got something called a summit beer. I don't know if it's a beer. It could be, a, I don't know. It looked yummy on the menu. The more that I have beer, the more I realize I really don't like beer. No, not my favorite. No. All right, so after a decent drive, we've made it to the Whistling Sands. When we got here, we realized it was paid for parking, which is fine, but I went up to pay and it was five pounds and I had four pounds and 56 pence. 
So not quite enough. Luckily, the lady who works here had just come up from the beach and opened the store that was actually supposed to be shut and ran my card for $5 and gave me a receipt. So we're good on parking for the day. And now we're going to go see if we can hear some whistling sands. So I think that this area used to kind of be used as like an import-export little tiny port. Um, the building behind me used to be the coal house and then in the early 1900s this spot became popular for bathing and those kinds of things and they built a roof over it, uh, the coal house, and then they called it the Coal Hole Cafe and that's what that roof down there over that building is. Um, that I sounds like it was just a lot of importing exporting through here. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be, but it looks really pretty. Never mind, it's pretty big. There are walking paths all the way around uh, when you come down the left side of the beach. I think they probably also go off to the right. I think there's an entire coastal path system that I wish we had more time to walk, but we're going to head back to the beach and go over to the other side and see what's on that side over there. I think that pretty much finishes us here at the Whistling Sands Beach. Do they really whistle? I don't know. The conditions say they have to be really dry for the sand to have the right consistency to hear it. Although every once in a while we would take a step and go, <gasps> did you hear that? We kind of hear like a, like a squeak almost. Um, also, there was a sign that said to look for seals and I didn't see any. 
I was really sad about that. But I did find a lot of pretty rocks. If you enjoy rock hunting and you just like unique looking rocks, this is also a really good place to come for that. It's beautiful. For us, it's a little bit cold. This is a pretty typical winter weather day for us back in Texas. Everyone here is saying this is their summer. There are people getting in the ocean and swimming, which is crazy to me, but they are loving it. So if you want to brave the waters as well, we're here, what is this, late April. Come give it a try. Looks beautiful, stunning place to be, even if you don't get in. Our plan is to not get in the water, but to go back to our Airbnb and cozy up next to that amazing fireplace. Okay, I think we might have found it. I think we might have made a whistle. We'll try to get it. I don't know if you'll hear it. I saw him kicking the sand. That's, I guess that's how you make a whistle. <laughs> Find it. Found it. Look, he's, he's doing it. That guy. Okay. I was watching one of the local guys kicking his way down the beach and he was recording it with his phone and so I just like coyly copied him and that's how you make the sound you just kind of well at least now for our conditions but you kind of have to like kick your feet into the sand and I guess that amount of friction makes it kind of do this squeaky whistle kind of sound so here's your tutorial okay here we go watch the feet okay Like a dummy, but it makes a cool sound. <laughs>